It's not unusual to see shows and art installations being sponsored by financial corporations. The Old Vic has a wall load of supporters of recognisable names and since 2015 the principal sponsor of the theatre has been the Royal Bank of Canada. The Canadian connection goes right the way back to the former owner, Canadian businessman and theatre empresario Edwin Mervish. The bank helps fund productions, allowing for wider and more varied seasons of shows. In the run-up to Christmas, the bank holds a friends and family day for 900 guests to say thanks for their support. Today at the theatre we have employees and all their families and friends who come to see A Christmas Carol. We had the Lorax uh, two years ago, we had, a very, um, we had the Missing Light which is a puppet show last year. Um, this is probably the biggest and the best so far and, uh, and the most attendance and it's, uh, it's a very exciting day and I think as you can probably hear in the background there's a lot of energy here today. There are plenty of ways in which RBC makes use of the partnership with the theatre. We have client events at every performance here or every, every production here. Um, but we, we try and use it in more imaginative ways as well and we have other um, uh, partnerships with charities such as Great Ormond Street Hospital. So next week uh, we have the cast of Christmas Carol going down to Great Ormond Street Hospital, seeing some carols, ringing some bells uh, before their children's Christmas party. So what's in it for RBC? We realise that we, we do need to give more back to the community, um, particularly in London where we're based. Um, and it's a great opportunity to do that. I think it works very well for financial institutions um, because a lot of their clients are avid theatre goers in, in our situation. Um, and so the client angle is very good. Brand exposure is very good attached to theatres. Um, and I think that the financial institutions are in a unique position to be able to help fund the arts where there's a shortfall in funding from the government. When RBC looks at brand and marketing opportunities, obviously the key thing is to get associate, be associated with, with institutions um, that people respect and trust, and uh, we couldn't pick a better one than the Old Vic. And so from our side of things, um, we get great exposure um, through advertising, but also when people visit the theatre, and um, it really works well for us. Kate, you're executive director of the Old Vic, in charge of the success. So how does marketing impact your role? Hugely. Um, the theatre exists on the basis of a two-thirds, a third um, budget. So two-thirds of our income is from ticket sales and box office, and a third is from fundraising. So what we put on stage, how we market it, who comes into this building is vital to us. And how do you engage in marketing? We do a number of different things. Um, we have a huge um, relationship with our audience already, but obviously the big thing for us, the big challenge for any theatre is audience development. So yes, we want to encourage people that have come before to repeat book, but we also want to get new people into this audience. Hello, I'm James Wright. Thanks for watching Marketing Media Money. To check out more online videos, just click on the boxes and don't forget to subscribe to the CNBC Life channel at the bottom of the screen.